not going to be a long recipe. I'm not going to keep you long. I know you got Friday night things to do, but um, <laughs> thanks that I'm one of those things and you're tuned in to watch. Yeah. So tonight we're actually going to do a, um, we're going to do some shrimp on an Indian flatbread. It's, uh, let me show you that. So we have a naan bread, naan, N-A-A-N, if you see this in the store, get it, but don't overindulge, it's so good, hi Michael, <laughs> don't overdo it on the naan bread, okay, so we're going to make a flat bread with um, um, some Indian spices and veggies, I already... You know, I got the prep ahead of time. The, yeah, I have to be a good steward of your time. Yes. So I've got some green onions already cut up. I've got some red onions, some garlic sliced up, some spinach. And honey, when I tell you I found the cutest little thing in the store today, it is. These little baby, they're called, um, oh, here they are. If you see these in the store, go grab them. They're not, you can have them as a little snack. Um, of course, y'all know I've been watching my weight. So I'm trying to do a little better. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Angela. Guys, thank you guys so much for being here with me. Um, these little sprinkles, and they're just little baby tomatoes, and when I tell you that these little things are packed full of flavor, this is going on our flatbread, our Indian flatbread tonight, okay? All right. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, Okay. And uh, the spinach. Did I say you go? Got spinach to go on top of our um, flatbread. So, I, um, my store had white shrimp on sale today for $5.99 a pound. So, I got a pound and a half. And, yeah, when you cook it up, it's going to cook up kind of small. That's why I got a pound and a half. <laughs> because I want to make sure it, you know, goes a long way. So, I'm, um cleaned and deveined and you know took the little shell off of the shrimp and then I um, took my little grater and grated some lime zest so I've got lime zest on here and some lime juice yes this is gonna be a nice little healthy recipe for us tonight um, I've been on my walk-in kit, y'all, every morning, except this morning. I didn't go this morning, um, but I have been walking. Let me grab my towel real quick. I've been um, walking quite a bit, you know, uh, doing my meditation early in the mornings, getting up. And it's so, what's so sweet is that, um, so you know, I live in an apartment complex and um, I have many neighbors, so when I'm up in the morning walking, I usually go when it's first light so that I'm not, you know, in the dark by myself. But it's so cool because my neighbors are on walks, you know, they're walking and every, every lap we do with each other is always, hey, <laughs> you know, so it's so nice just to like stop and, um, you know, have conversations that you probably don't normally have with your neighbors, but to, you know, do little walks and see each other out just trying to find some, some beauty at the start of the day is really nice. So when I tell you that I have been really just taking advantage of um, the COVID-19 season, that we're in and just taking the time to slow down, take care of myself, um, and get to know other people around me, 
I picked a rose the other day. The, uh, the day before that, I picked some, um, there was some lavender growing. I snipped that and it was just, it sounds corny, but it was so nice. <laughs> we all need just a little bit of corny and sweet in our lives. So I'm just so glad. Um, yeah, it, it's been nice. Hey, my cousin Martha. Hey, girl. Hey. You guys are the best. Now, make sure that you are sharing this. Go ahead and click share right now. Mm -hmm. You can share it right now. And let people let people know that we are doing Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time here on Facebook Live at Carla Renee. The website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. The sugar and the pearls are together, okay? All right, capital S, capital P, together, okay? Okay, and Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online. What do you say we get cooking? How about that? Hey, Viva. <laughs> Hi, Bridget. Thank you, guys. Hi, Aunt Naomi. Oh, my gosh. Walitha, hey, y'all. Share the videos and, um, yeah, that, that's all I want. That's all. So, um, I've been, like I said, trying to, I'm going to just do one flat bread tonight. I'll do another one maybe tomorrow that where I can take a picture of and all that. <laughs> but I'm gonna do one tonight. Again, I'm using an Indian naan bread, which is um you can use it for flatbread flatbread pizzas. Um, but it is just sinful. Sinful, I say. So <laughs> don't get too much of this stuff. I bought it maybe a few weeks ago but I keep it in the bottom of my fridge in the crisper so that I don't see it <laughs> I don't need that I don't need any more stuff going on okay all right hi Annie hi Keisha hey everybody hey Terrence Mwah. thank you so much for being here all right we're gonna go ahead and get started okay so Got our veggies already cut up and ready to go. We've got the white shrimp already cleaned. Cleaned it with, um, I, after I cleaned it and deveined, then I added some salt, lime juice, and lime zest. So lime zest is on here just to kind of preserve it and keep it uh, nice and plump. Plump? Okay whatever she said pump. anyway <laughs> hey Shitara yes I am using my glam lights I wish I could show you guys my glam light that my niece got me for Mother's Day um this ring light with the phone sticking out of it honey when I tell you I'm gonna I'm gonna take me some good selfies with this Ring light, chair. Yeah. Yes, melanin popping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we've got our non bread. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the oven on. 350 is fine. We don't need to do too much on it, but 350. Get it ready for the. I'm trying to think. Okay, so before I start cooking, can I confess something? Let me confess one thing. I did not know what I was going to cook until today. Today. I had no idea. Like, there was so much happening in... What? Oh, start. <laughs> in the world and in my world that I just... It was hard for me to, like, find space to figure out how what I was going to create for tonight so went to the store went through my little um recipe book remember that recipe book I showed y'all from um uh, real appeal my little weight loss program I'm doing 
went through that just to get some inspiration and I didn't see this recipe in there but I was like hmm might not be so bad so we're gonna do some scraps up in here tonight all right flatbread I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my little copper pan and the only thing um not the only thing because there are quite a a few ingredients in order to make this a nice authentic Indian type recipe so tiki masala tiki masala so uh, your tiki masala and if if you're not a fan of uh, Indian flavors Indian food then most definitely you can use you know just do like a, a tomato based marinara or something on your flatbread if you want to but I wanted some tiki masala and the tiki masala hold on shit she needs she needs a couple more eyes so uh the tiki masala has tomato onion cream yogurt um canola oil spices including paprika turmeric and mustard uh, a little vinegar, some crushed red pepper, garlic, sea salt. Yeah. Tiki masala. And I haven't learned how to make it yet. So I just bought it <laughs> from my international food section at the store, which is going to work just great. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, smear some of this tiki masala sauce on our flatbread. And then we will lay the other ingredients on top. Okay, how about it? First thing we're going to do is go ahead and get our shrimp. Why didn't I take my olive oil out? Excuse me, just a moment, okay? Hang on, boo. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I did take it out. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pan really hot. Let me show you what's happening. Pan. little olive oil in there and then when it's super super hot we're going to add our shrimp to it okay now I'm gonna I'm not gonna put all of that shrimp in there because what you don't um I wanted to kind of fry up I don't want it just like sitting and stewing it can get tough like that if you do it um so just a little bit at a time all right so I'm gonna sit this Aside. Now before I add my shrimp, I'm going to put it in this bowl. So to season my shrimp, I'm, I'm going to add a few more spices to that. But what I did after I cleaned and deveined, I went on and put some uh, lime zest and lime juice and salt on it. Okay, so there you go. Yes. See, it's all green and everything, like like the lines. That's okay. And now, ooh, yeah, ooh, that yes. Okay, so get hot. All right. So to this, we're gonna add a little kosher salt. Not too much because I already added salt earlier. So just a little. That was about a teaspoon and a half. Okay. And my Badia Complete Seasoning. You can season it with whatever you want. Okay, I'm, uh, and some paprika. Okay, a uh, little onion powder. I want a nice, flavorful shrimp. And I've got some dried rosemary. I put it in this bottle, but this is rosemary that I actually got from um, my brother's house. And then I sat it out to dry and just put it back in this, um, in this container so that I could have some rosemary. Yeah. So I'm just going to do a little bit in my palm. And mix okay all right y'all doing okay though for real um this was a 
quite a week. Okay, so the oven is hot now. Good. Quite a week. Make sure all the salt and paprika and all of that is distributed evenly. And okay. I think she good, boo. I'm in. Now Alright, I got the first smoke off of that uh, olive oil. And I'm going to use a long spoon because this thing will pop back on you. Okay, alright, so we're going to be responsible. And we're just going to scoop some. And make sure... That when you put it in, you're only going to cook the shrimp for about two to three minutes. But when you put it in there, hey, Michael. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Um, it's only going to cook for about two to three minutes, okay? Otherwise, you're going to have tough shrimp. And I don't want to cook it to death because um, it's going to finish cooking off in the oven on top of the flatbread. But I at least want to give it a head start, okay? So crank that baby up. I'm so glad you're here! Honey. The foolery. I don't even want to talk about the foolery of the week. I don't. I can't. I'm the week was too good to me. Yes, the walks and stopping to smell the roses and talk to neighbors and yeah. I re I refuse to take it down. And that's it. Oh. <gasps> I just lost the picture. <laughs> right on the floor. Because I'm, yeah, acting like I'm working at the hibachi grill. All right. Anywho. Okay, so the shrimp, that's all I'm going to do. Yep. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put just a little bit of turmeric in here. I can't tell you how much. I don't know. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. And a little tarragon. Okay, so these are whole tarragon leaves. There we go. That's it. And the scraps are done. Okay. Now I told you I I went on and got like a pound and a half because um that white shrimp, they're kind of small when they cook up real tiny. <laughs> so I was like, let me go ahead and make sure I've um I'm gonna have enough. All right. So, I'm going to pull this off of the fire. And now for the flatbread. Okay, so what I'm using is, um, for those of you that are just coming on, welcome. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and I'm your host, Carla Renee. I'm using a non an Indian naan bread, like that, okay? And we're going to now, ooh, yes. So, um, any side you want, it already comes cooked and, and ready to go. All I'm going to do now is spread a little tiki masala on there. Okay. Like I said, if you are not a fan of the tiki masala um, because of the heavy creams and yogurt, that the sauce is made with traditionally, then feel free to use like a um, a marinara, some tomato base, you know, something <laughs> that you want. Okay, the these recipes that I'm sure this is just what I want to eat. Okay, you can adjust tip <laughs> boo, adjust it however you want. Okay, so if you want to make substitutions, feel free to do so. 
All right. So, okay. So now you got just a little, um, a little layer of tiki masala on your flatbread. And now we will start to put it together. So, I'm going to take a handful of, do I want to do, no, I'm going to do my, um, let me put my shrimp on here first. Okay. Can you tell I'm just, I'm making this up as we go? Yeah, okay. As long as you know. <laughs> Boo. Okay. All right. And just spoon it on there. And when you cook your shrimp high and fast like that, you don't have to worry about a lot of water building up. I don't, you don't want no soggy bread. So, now, ooh, I got a nice little bit. It's a nice little healthy recipe. Get back in there, boo. Yes, I'm, I'm using all of them. <laughs> yep. Okay, so shrimp. All right, so let me just show you what is happening. So we've got, uh, let's take some onions, some green onion, and put on our flatbread. We're going to put some garlic and a few little red onions on here. Use whatever veggies you like. You don't have to, um, you know, do it the way I'm doing it. But because I love bright colors and stuff, uh, I was supposed to put my spinach on first. Okay. I'm just going to tear some. Just a little. And some of those little tomatoes that I found those cute little oh they're so cute mm. and so flavorful okay one more y'all okay and now that I got that I want to use a little bit of cheese um, because although I am watching what I eat and all of that, I still want a little, you know, ain't nothing with, wrong with a little bit of cheese, honey, in your diet. So I can't find my small, oh well. Let's go ahead and, and get some uh, hard cheese. I got a little Parmesan. I, you can use whatever cheese you want. You can use a... Uh, um, a provolone under there if you want or a gruyere it's totally up to you but i'm just going with a nice hard cheese so that um i don't overdo it okay oh there we go and I know, I'm, I'm putting a lot of stuff on here, right? Okay. Spoon. I'm going to use a little bit of um, capers to finish this off. Okay. I know, it looks super fancy. So fancy. But really, okay, let me use the back of this one. There we go. It ain't all that fancy. It's just, it's just a simple little dinner, honey. Okay. So I'm going to put this on my pizza rack in the oven and we are gonna be eating in a minute believe it or not yes where's my spatula hang on here we go Ooh. hot 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 okay Oh, yes. Okay, close that up. Let it bake. Um, everything on there is pretty much done. Okay, but I do want my onions to soften just a little bit and all the other stuff that I put on there. So I am going to give it about five to seven minutes in the oven. Then we'll take it out, 
let it cool for two minutes and then we'll slice it and have our little Indian flatbread with some seasoned uh, shrimp and veggies. It's gonna be some good. <laughs> I hope you've been having a great week. I know um, uh, it's been tumultuous just to watch things unfolding on the news day by day, which is why I decided to kind of take a little break from it. Um, so, fun fact, not so fun. <laughs> I am someone who lives with major depressive disorder, okay? Period, point blank, no secret, ain't hiding it. That is the diagnosis. So I live with that every day. Um, and I manage it by making sure that I take care of my mental space, making sure I protect my peace. Thank you, Lisa Carter. Um, and try not to let junk infiltrate that, okay? I'm, I'm very protective of um, my peace place. Yes, yes. So if, um, if there's something there that doesn't belong, I simply cast it the hell out. Get it. Got no place here. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, um, because I live with that and, and so many of us, you know, you know, live with depression and things like that. Um, we got to make sure that we're not becoming overly consumed with things that could damage that's that headspace you know what i mean okay all right so it ain't no secret now that's that dear. you know all right but um yeah just being really intentional about what i watch what i eat who's in my space who's in my ear like all of that and i think that is so very important so if you have not gotten to that place where, you know, if you've got drama coming at you and you can't say, hold up, wait a minute, I'm protecting my space at this time, my peace at this time, then I, I need for you to, to put that sentence in your vocabulary and be very intentional about not allowing crazy to come in okay there's enough crazy out there enough of it but um but that doesn't mean that we uh have to ignore the issues that are just so prevalent in our society so you've probably been seeing on my page i've been posting um voting links so if you have a student who is just <laughs> I love when people call me uh, Ethel because <laughs> because the older I get the more I realize I am my mother I am I, I just am yeah so uh, <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> Lisa <laughs> yeah um, yeah so um, Again, on the website, on the uh, page, uh, voting sites, if you know of someone that is turning 18 very, very soon, and this will be their first time voting, make sure you get them registered to vote. I've got um, below this video links for South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, and North Carolina. Um, but if I don't have yours listed, then you can simply go online, just type in voter registration and your state, and it'll bring it up. You can do online registration or um, download paper ballots and mail them in, usually free of charge, I believe. So please get people registered to vote, um, and not just for uh, the big presidential election coming up in November, but make sure. Hey, Tessa! <laughs> Hi, boo. Um, yeah, but make sure that we are participating even in local elections. So get on your game, honey. I'm telling you, don't. Let's not screw this up. 
Oh my. This bread is done. Let me wipe down my stove, y'all, and show you um the beauty that is our Indian flatbread tonight. Oh man. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, I think I'm I'm getting it. Okay, so I've been talking a lot about uh, ways that I have been taking care of myself. Lately, how have you been practicing self-care? Are you practicing self-care? If not, you should, okay? Yes, call me. Girl, you ought to have my number in your phone. Call me. Um. Self-care, what you doing? What you doing for you? Don't be um giving all giving all of yourself to everything and everyone around you. You're important. And if nobody told you this week, I'm telling you, you're important. You matter just as much as anybody else. So give yourself time. Take care of you. If you need to say, you know what? I can't. I don't care if that's family, friends, lo lover, whoever that that may be kind of upsetting your space. It's okay to say, you know what? I need a minute. I need a minute. There is no shame in that. None whatsoever. And uh, oftentimes, um, because so many of us are nurturers and we, we think that, oh no, I gotta be there for that person. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> no. Uh, if you ain't taking care of you, you can't be there for nobody. How about that? Okay. Ooh, we. Okay, I want that to come out. <sighs> Broil, start. I want those tomatoes to burst. Just a... Okay, good. It's going to be a, a 214. Awesome. Viva! Hey, boo! Working out. Yes, love it. Resting, taking mental breaks. Very good. Very good. So important. Right. Yeah. You know, um, for the past couple of weeks, I really like I'll I'll watch the news for a little bit just to see what's happening in my world and then I shut it off. And then the rest of the day is just music. And I'm just like dancing and acting a fool. My neighbor below me is probably upset. But <laughs> But I've been giving myself that. Um, just time just to be silly and like create the space that I want in my life. Meditating, reading. Look at my brother Tommy going to the park and sitting while enjoying nature. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. Oh, wow. Um... I got to find some time. You know, I used to go to the, um, at South Park Mall here in Charlotte. They have a jazz fest every, there's like a Latin fest one year. I think one year was like a jazz fest. And they had this nice little area. You just sit out there and just enjoy everything. And I haven't been in a couple of years. And I don't know if they're still doing that, but I definitely need to look it up. Um... Because that used to be a fun place for me to go. And I just pack my water and my little snacks and a little bit of wine. Chat. Mm hmm Yes. <laughs> a little bit of wine. And I just go out there and I just enjoy the music. And uh, one of my favorite things to do is people watch. I love people watching. Yes. We're some funny creatures. 
Mm, yeah, so <laughs> treat yourself. That that's all I'm saying. I don't I don't know. Hey Theo. Welcome to the show and welcome to all of you who are just tuning in. Uh I'm Carla. Hey, you probably know that already, right? Okay, yeah. Well, this is Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and we do it every Friday. I try not to miss. I really don't. And I'm almost always on time because I'm a little anal. And your time is valuable also. Yes. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> Hi, boo. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls, S U G A R P E A R L apostrophe S, and Instagram at Sugar Pearls underscore online. Go there, subscribe. As a matter of fact, right now, right now, get another device, subscribe. It doesn't look like I'm going to make a thousand by August. So, okay, scrap that. What I need for you to do still is subscribe because when I post videos, I almost always post them there on my YouTube channel and website first. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Done. <gasps> Come hither. Ooh. Let me just bring you in. Let, let me just. Like, I'm going to let that sit for a second. But just walk with me for a second. Just walk with me, honey. Yes! Yes! <laughs> That's our Indian flatbread with our shrimp seasoned with some lime juice lime zest a little turmeric and salt underneath on top of the flatbread we got a little um bottled tikka marsala i did not make it i cheated so oh well um but it's good stuff but if you don't want to use the tikka marsala of course you can use um some sort of tomato based dressing for it. i know right ain't it cute it's so cute okay so Take me a little sip. So, cheers to you, my love. Cheers to you. You made it through another week that could have been, could have been pure hell. But you know what? You made it. And because you did, you brightened somebody else's days. I know you did. I know you did. See, most of y'all that are tuned in are like family and friends, so I know your heart. And I know that it is in you to make life better, not just for yourself, but for others as well. So, thank you. Thank you for spreading joy in a world that can look so dark, so bleak, so ugly. Like people ain't got no sense, you know, where people just feel free just to do and say anything and be any kind of, mm, thank you. Your existence made life better for somebody else. I'm just, honey, I'm just, it's a toast to you. Mm -hmm. That's an excuse, really. I was going to drink anyway, whether I toasted you or not. Okay. Yeah. But it felt good, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the chicken tenders turned out great. Do the oxtail. Oh, honey. Oh, you. Really? Oxtail? Okay. You just messing it up, ain't you? Child, my brother Tommy be cooking. When I tell you this man can cook. Mm. I lost three pounds in the past two weeks. I know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but I'm so proud. <laughs> I am super proud. I'm excited. 
because I knew that, um, so I haven't been eating breakfast in the morning. What I've instead been doing is um, making smoothies in the morning, and that is my breakfast. So it's spinach and yogurt and uh, strawberries, bananas, all that stuff in my smoothies. Uh, and I've been doing that every day for the past 18, 20 days. And I'm going to keep it up because I like the way I feel. Which is why I'm having a little cheat tonight. <laughs> Calling you while in the grocery store. Ah! <laughs> okay. Y'all act like I know what I be doing. I don't know what I be doing, Tommy. Y'all know better than me. Shoot. Y'all be doing what, what tastes good to me. Okay, so I I think I'm about to cut into this flatbread. Ooh. Ooh. That ain't gonna do it. Okay, my stuff falling off. See my stuff. Okay, hold on. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead. And just ah! I feel like I need something. I didn't sharpen my knife. show enough flatbread here tonight now the edge is charred yes honey oh that's gonna be so hot it's it's very hot all right so i'm gonna just give it a second all right feast your eyes on that let me get myself a little plate um and we, we're actually, can you believe we're eating so early? It's, this is not a long recipe. And it's a great way, if you want to do something like this for the, the picky eaters in your house, choose whatever veggies you want, okay? Because I realize we got some picky eaters out there. Um, but this is a great way to get your veggies into your diet. So... Ooh, I feel like I should have put that on a white plate. I'm going to put it on a white plate. See, I told y'all I'm anal. Okay, let's get that out. i got a white plate here. I know, because presentation, honey, is what? Everything. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that flatbread. See? Nice. Uh, the edges are nice and crispy, but underneath, when I tell you, it's... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay, it's hot, so I'm, I'm going to ease into it, okay? Okay. Mm. I told y'all, every now and then, I just want to go to another place. Food is how I get there. Mm -hmm. So if I want to go to Kathmandu or Ghana or Brazil, Mm. When I tell you that scrimp with that lime juice, I can still taste the lime. <laughs> Let's eat. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Give a round 
have a pause. Right here, get one of these tomatoes. <laughs> oh, it tastes so good when it just like pops in your mouth. I'm gonna put the ingredients when I do the pro produce video. I'll have the ingredients and everything on there for you so you will know um, what to put on your flatbread for this recipe. But Get you a nice little flat bread out the store. I use a non bread. Some of my favorite vegetables, onions, garlic, and all that stuff. Mm. Mm. Y'all. People can taste. People can tell when they're eating your food if you were mad or if you just in love. It all comes out in the food, I'm telling you. I can't cook when I'm mad. Mm -mm. But the food going to taste like dirt. But when you have love, honey, your food tastes like Mm. 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 Hey treasure Honey it is so good Mm. I have one of those aftershocks. Honey. Mm. Yes! <laughs> Y'all, this right, this is delicious. And it's light. It, it's nothing heavy in here. You got shrimp. You got a whole lot of veggies piled on top of that. With your little baby tomatoes, some capers, um, spinach, garlic, onions. Shrimp is not over seasoning. And we got that tiki, tiki masala sauce on top of the flatbread. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I don't know what else to say. Mm. Mm. Go ahead, take a bite. Not that much. A little bit. Get that side right there. I know, right? It was good. Mm -hmm. Make this flatbread. Make it. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But when I tell you, mm mm, good. Huh? Mm, mm. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna eat one more before it's time to go to bed. And it ain't loaded down with cheese and I mean, you can add your, your rich cheese if you want, but a little Parmesan, a little hard Parmesan cheese sprinkled on top is all you need. You don't need to. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna let you get no bite this time because you took too much last time. So. You ain't got no manners. 
I ain't giving you no more. <laughs> Try it. It is so, so good, y'all. Now, if you own my live and you're not sharing my live with your friends, you cheating them out of good food. Let them know what we up to, child. Share the, the live, share the YouTube channel, share the website, Do share it with your friends, okay? Because me and your friends might not know each other. Sugar Pearl's Italian flatbread pizza. Ooh. Well, I can't call it Italian because it's a um, it's an Indian flatbread and it's an Indian sauce. This week, if you did not, hey Nita, <laughs> hey boo, mm. if you did not identify. Um, sorry, self care for yourself, then that is what I want you to focus on this week. Okay, it's a lot of distractions out there, many things that could take your eye off the ball. Okay, but we know what we got to do, we know. Okay, and I'm gonna keep you updated. Okay, so keep keep watching the page because I'm, I'm going to be adding stuff throughout. But what I want you to do most of all, most of all, is take care of you. Take care of you. Um, people might get a little salty with you because, you know, you just needed some time to just pull back for a minute. They'll be okay. They will be okay. Unless it's a baby that can't take care of themselves and didn't ask to come into this world. You can take a break. You can, if, especially if it's someone that's disrupting your peace. Okay? Alright. Take that break. Take the time to take care of yourself. You mean so much to me. And you mean so much to so many other people in your life, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. So if you're going to be around to celebrate and love and share in joys and pain with the people that you love and the people who love you back, then I need for you to take this time while we are in this season, okay? Can't nobody say they ain't got no time because we all got plenty of it right now, okay? You got more than you had before this COVID-19 crisis. While we are here, remind yourself that you too are important and you matter. Don't forget to register to vote. Thank you, Tommy, for reminding the audience. I've got some links down below this video. So you can go there and click if you live in South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, or Virginia. You can also download this forms if you need to. Um, but if you're in a state watching and I haven't put those links on, just go on there. Honey, tell every young person you know who has never voted before that now is their time and um we need for them to make this world better than they found it because lord knows no soapbox tonight i just need to let you know boo, that i love you and I hope you love me back.
Thank you.